God bless you, God bless you. I have a word of the Lord for you from the Lord, our sweet Lord Jesus, our precious Lord Jesus. Um, it gives us a more understanding and um, this is a message about the woman but also good to know for the man. Uh, if you know the uh, the download uh, from what is um, if we read the Bible uh, and study the Bible be careful careful and the Lord give us a new understanding then is this understanding to uh, live well with the Lord to please him to please uh, also and this is the typical message for marriage um if then you understand your woman on a new way and it is uh the knowledge understanding is to um uh, uh get in a deeper relationship not only with uh with god but also with your woman in god in jesus christ and to overcome a, a certain situations and to get uh get more stronger in union in your marriage and you have to know where you come from if you uh, travel back and job teach us in job 8 uh, it's uh, from it's a protocol in the first verse 5 and then teach later on on uh, 9 and 10 if you travel back in wisdom you uh, you um, and you you receive you see with your heart. So the great teacher says, uh, look with your heart, not only with your mind, but with real interesting, uh, real interest and uh, to love to see. And uh, not not always is something what you see, what you like to see, but it helps you in your in your in your journey on this earth to heaven. And if you read um, Genesis. Uh, three it's very uh, interesting very and and if you gain this in your heart then your heart will bring forth reasoning bring forth uh, other words and to make um, good decisions and get more understanding who is my wife in marriage and who why is this behavior where is this come from and if we um, give our life to Christ we renew our minds we are not longer the falling, um, uh, but we are a new creation in Christ and no longer the falling uh, man, what speaks and teach us in Genesis 3. But if you're not on this point, then is it good to know, men and women, that the Eve, Eve is the mother from all living. That means if you look to her, then you see some things you don't, Mm, you don't want and you see see uh, bring her man uh, in a bad situation and also bring her man uh, to fall and if you know this that is in the woman then you know this and the man is the head and have clean his wife with the word that's the protocol that's the principle from Ephesians 5 25 22 to uh, 34 and you have to know this then you can deal with it in all love and all diligence to your wife and the woman have also to know this and uh, i want to mention uh, use a couple of scriptures to get more understanding for this and it's not easy it's hard uh, but if you know it, it it's uh, make it uh, on in, on the longer term sweet to know and you overcome this and uh, the Lord gave us mercy, pray for it, and that the Lord, um, yeah, give you understanding with this. And uh, it's a hard word, uh, uh, maybe for somehow for some woman or man. And uh, I want to begin first with um, read an, an scripture and uh, teach us that. Uh, um, Jeremiah 31 and uh, the Lord do a new thing on earth it is necessary if we read back in Genesis 3 
we see that if the woman did something what was not good and she did this and the bible uh, call it in Jeremiah a backsliding woman uh, a backsliding woman is um, yeah how long wilt thou go about O thou backsliding daughter for the Lord hath created a new thing on earth a woman shall compass her men so surrounded her men so hug her men that's very good to know this is a, a wonder and you have, you can receive it if you know this if you see uh, what is happening in your life and what is uh, coming from the mother of all living and you now uh, if you live if you're Christian and you don't know you lost your identity you have to um, draw it back by knowledge and by mercy of the Lord Jesus that you are a new creation in Christ and no longer more the image from Adam. If you don't know this, then this teaching bless you. Please share this uh, teaching uh, with other people. And I, the Lord give me uh, to read this typical scripture. It's very important. I read, I gave you already Genesis 3 verse 20. Uh, uh, pray on it and think about it that some things are have to change to have a good uh, marriage and also the the woman uh, the black light of morning it's in her it is in the DNA it is in the flesh and that can change by the word and by the mercy and by living in the spirit listen uh, maybe is it new for you don't uh, uh, um, aversion uh, uh, to this message it's important to know you can overcome it in the mighty name of Jesus and uh, by knowledge from the word listen Libra dai seca anche pedifito o fungi listen what the Bible teach us I, I, I teach this in lost identity in other teachings please listen to this you get more understanding and uh, take time for your trans- transformation take time to um, live an other life and not longer bear the life of this world. Okay, this is the book of the generations of Adam, chapter 5, Genesis 1. Very, very good to know and understand this. In the day that God created man in the likeness of God, made he him. Male and female created him and blessed them. Listen, there is a blessing in the image and likeness of God. If there is no likeness image, is the blessing is difficult to receive. Yeah, you, you, God will bless you, but you can't receive it by not seeing it. Want the blessing come also always with the protocol and principle from God. It's from God, and if you live in the world, you cannot receive it very well, or you don't see it, or don't God can don't bless you with your own lifestyle. Um, male and female created first two again male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created and Adam lived a hundred and thirty years and begat a son listen he begat a son in his own likeness after his own image and he called his name Seth there is no more the likeness from God and the image from God in his son said that is he is lost in the image of God and his likeness Jesus um, fixed this but I don't get in now this is not my message and uh, I give you already understanding about this um, I want to go on and the Dutch translation used for Jeremiah 31, 22, uh, and, and, and a, a woman, they have aversion against her man, against God. And if you don't know this uh, as a woman, you think it is normal to reject your man in certain ways. It's not normal. You have surround, embrace your man, who he is, and you have love him and I want to don't uh, take for long for this subject but you have to know man and woman also the woman is coming from Eve 
and if you know Eve, see her version, her man. She find her own way and not longer the way with her man. And she bring her and her man in sin, in destroying the marriage, um, maybe for you or you go uh, going out. Listen, listen, woman of God, listen. You see it again in uh, chapter Genesis, the woman get into the world, the daughter get into the world. She is raped. And listen, there is also in chapter, it's painful. The woman is the cause again for a big, big misery bringing into the world. She accepts things. I don't go into there, but if you read it and you understand the, what I say and it's the word, uh, then you know it's a backsliding woman. It's in her, in the flesh. It's coming from Eve. If you don't believe it, it is in the word, it's written. If you believe it, you can deal with it and you can overcome it in the mighty name of Jesus. Want you, you renew your mind and the God have mercy so help you that you no longer backsliding, no more aversion to God and to your man. It's very key to know this. If you don't know this, you cannot make a decision and you, you believe something, how, I don't know how, but you have no knowledge from the word. You can not find the way Jesus say, I'm the way by knowledge. I'm the true by knowledge from the word, by the spirit, of course. And I'm life. And in life is no aversion, no backsliding. Uh, it's only forward. And Paul say, run your race. Okay. Um, I want to give you Yes, I want to give um, an um, an protocol. Um, read it for yourself, please. Uh, it's powerful and protocol for in your marriage, and that is um, Colossians uh, three, verse fourteen, verse nineteen, and it teach us, and this is very key for this teaching. And all above all things put on charity. Charity is a very special love. It's a serving love and giving love. And not only loving with the mouth, but with the heart. Which is the bond of perfectness. That's the same principles uh, for uh, what we uh, need in Jeremiah. Need in Jeremiah 31, 22. It's all both things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Put above all things the charity. It's, it, it is, is, is surrounding your man with love. And listen, uh, <laughs> if you read Ephesians 5 verse 22, you understand the teaching from the man to the woman, how important it is. And this also included. Okay. I want to read on and run around the top. I want not to teach so long. Uh, listen, um, then teach Titus uh, chapter 2. Uh, the, uh, and uh, very also, uh, and the more places in the Bible points to women, if there is no head, they are uh, go uh, somehow the world in and they like follow their own ways and oh my god have mercy and um later on hope i hope so i can share this to cut cut more understanding for a younger woman and um okay listen what is the bible teach and i want to read it uh more than one first it is one key first but i read around and you see uh the difference about men and men have also the weakness but women, it is typical women uh, teaching now, we have to point it out now that you know, understand what I have to learn as a woman from God to love my 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 man and my and, and Christ. That the aids men be so sober, crave it, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, impatient, impatient. The aged woman likewise. Likewise, that be die be in behavior as become at holiness, not false or cautious. Listen, 
false accusers, no give too much wine, teach of good things. Listen, that's not teach about the men, accusers. There's something, there, there is a remembrance in women. If you know, uh, if you're married for a long time, you know this. It's if you study the Bible, you understand this. Okay, let me read on. The age of women, likewise, that they be in behavior as become it holiness. No false accusers, no give it too much wine, teachers of good things, good behaviors. Listen, and then for, verse 4 that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their husbands. There are young women that are so precious and they know this room rules by learning this from their mothers and see and good merits, good parents, and they uh, receive this. But a lot of women, they have to learn this. That's teach the Bible. And it's not maybe, uh, do, you maybe don't like it, but if you know it, you can live a very good marriage and very good love life with Christ and your man that they may teach the young woman to sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be described, cased, keep and home, good obedience to their own husband, that the, that the word of God be not blamished. This teaching, this is also other place I don't mention now, it's the same teaching, let it be your true, let it be and there's this way, the true, if you accept the true, you receive life, you receive peace from the Lord Jesus. Young, let and then I read last question, uh, verses and I run around the top. Young men likewise exhort the sober minded, sober minded. If you read it, and it's also in other chapter, the mind is very important for men in all things, showing the self and pattern of good works in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that that or that is of the contrary part be ashamed, have no evil things to say of you. Listen, men have other made other image than women. Okay, please share, subscribe my channel to bless you and have a victorious life in the precious Lord Jesus and to serve him very well and in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.